Hello and welcome. I'm Andrew Goodman and I'm currently making tutorials on Affinity Photo for the iPad. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use the Fill tool, or it's sometimes called the Gradient tool, in Affinity Photo for the iPad. How to look and find really nice colour gradients online, adding gradients to backgrounds, changing the gradient types, modifying the gradient properties, adding gradients to shapes and strokes and text and much more. So let's get into it. Okay, so we'll just go into Affinity Photo and we're going to continue working on the project that we were working on in the last video, which <laughs> looks a bit mad. It's a bit colourful. It's maybe not the prettiest on the eye, but that's okay. We'll uh, see if we can maybe enhance it a wee bit in this video. Now, in the last video, we made lots of shapes. We just chose colours at random. We're going to do something a wee bit different in this video. We're going to bring up Google Chrome, which is my browser of choice, and we're going to try and make some colours that go together a wee bit better, uh, some gradients that go, to bit, go together better. This is colours.co. There's lots of sites like this. This is one that I use from time to time. I use other ones. Adobe's got a good one too, but this is free and this is a bit different, so uh, we'll, we'll try this one out. So if we go to Tools, we'll go to Create a Gradient, because this video is all about creating gradients. And there's example gradients, browse all gradients. So we've got lots of gradients here. We'll try to pick a few that look quite nice and they'll maybe match a wee bit better. A few pastel -y colors. This here looks quite nice. Uh, download as image. And this has brought up as a full image. If we click one finger, copy image. And then if we go back into just by flicking up a finny photo, one finger tap paste and if I click on that layer that's just there we'll maybe bring it down and just put it at the top and we'll go back into chrome again back we'll maybe pick a few colors that look quite nice that's quite nice by actually touching on it you get the two colors so download his image one finger copy image one finger, paste, and we'll we'll bring that up again. We'll maybe do two more. So there we go. I'm just putting that up at the top, just so I can use the color picker to work with these things. If I go into the Layer Studio, I'm going to turn all these off. Apart from these, I'll take that arrow away. I'll take our star away, which is more like a flower. We've got them all away, apart from these few. If we drag on each layer, swipe like this we're going to move them all up to the very top because when we pick the color we're just looking for the end of each color so that's okay first of all we'll maybe change the background we'll change the background we'll make it a nice gradient and we'll use these colors seeing it's quite similar so we'll go down to that's the background that was a fill in, a, in two videos ago we just hit the plus icon hit fill we'll just go into the fill tool we'll just draw a line We'll just change the colours because this doesn't look great at the minute. If we click on the black, you'll see in the Colour Studio, that's changed to black. If we use this wee eyedropper tool and bring it over to the end here of this, it doesn't change the black. We'll have to actually click that again. Now it's changed it. If we go down and click on this dot, you'll see that that's changed the colour. If we click on the eyedropper, we're going to bring it down here. Again, it hasn't changed it, though it's very similar in colour. And that's now, that's really, really nice. That's a lovely, lovely gradient. So we've got our colours now, which we're happy about. If we click on this, we can move this about. So if we want to make it diagonal, we can do. That's really nice. If we bring it back. That's going up and down. If we hold one finger while doing this, it'll snap it to 45 degrees or 90 degrees. So that's how you get a complete 45 degree snap or a complete uh, vertical snap. So we tool in the middle here. This, If we click on this, that will change where the gradient starts. So we dot here, if I zoom in, if I zoom in, you can see that just snaps. That's the midway point. I'm happy to keep that in the midway point. If we come down here to our contextual menu, we can see that's our fill color. We can change the type, linear, 
elliptical, radial, conical, and then bitmap. We'll go into bit, bitmap in a wee minute. Non solid linear. Unfortunately, by going into bitmap, I think it's actually removed our colors. So, two fingers, double tap to undo these things. We'll do one at a time. We can rotate this. So it's going 90 degrees. You can't see it. There it is there. That's quite nice too. Though I quite like it being up and down. We're going to reverse by clicking reverse. It just flips the colours. That's nice too. think I just prefer that. Aspect does nothing at the minute. Whether that's on or off. off. Delete. We'll just delete it. But we don't want to do that. So that's really, really nice. Really happy with that. What we'll maybe do is we'll bring this rectangle layer back. So go into the, the layer studio, click the rectangle. We'll change that to these colors and we'll do, we'll do something a wee bit different in this. We'll maybe bring the border of this up from 20 to 40. Again, in the last video, we talked about shape layers, changing the border, changing the stroke. You have to go into the pen tool. So we'll go down and while we've got this selected, we'll go to the fill tool and by just simply dragging by default, it goes to black. So if you remember in the last video, we we'll clicked the black, clicked into the color studio, get our eye picker. We'll go for, we'll make this a nice orange. Again, it hasn't changed it because we we'll actually have to tap this color to change it. We'll click on this one. Back to the eye picker, tap it again, and that's changed it, and we can move it like this. Just to show you, I'll maybe bring this layer in front of our model, just for the time being, just to show you how this works, because what we're doing is we're filling in the box here. If we go to line, context, what we can actually do now is change the color of the stroke of the border and again we can just simply click in the black click into the color studio we'll pick the color wheel we'll maybe do the opposite of what we had there so just to see how that looks so that'll be yellow up there and then down here we will click the eyedropper tool go down here Click that again, click the hand tool, and that looks quite nice, something a bit different. Again, if we just click into that, to change it, we need to click, I've got it on the pointer tool, the move tool. If we go into the fill tool, we can still change the fill content, we can change the line content. We can rotate this if we want, but I'm happy where it was, I think. Like that, yep. We're going to reverse the two, but I don't want to do that. And again, aspect does nothing about this. We'll show you about that in a wee second. So I'm just going to go into Layer Studio. I'm going to bring that down. This is looking better, a better design than what we had in the last one. That's looking really, really nice. We'll maybe play with what will we go for? Our star shape. Our star shape's a bit mad. We'll maybe bring it above the model and we'll maybe move it down to here yeah the start the, this will be a good example to show you another tool so we've got solid linear which we've been working with elliptical which we'll come back to in a, in a wee second just for this we'll maybe make this shape a bit bigger one finger again to keep it in scale so back down to the fill tool. We'll come back to this because we just want to do the radial one. And you can see straight away what that does. We're going to move it into the center. And that actually knows where the center of our object is. And we'll move this out. Seeing it's two greens, it's quite hard to see. So we'll maybe change this into the blue. And we'll go up to our color studio I pick her okay, close to the edge. Again, it doesn't do anything. We need to click on the blue again, and that changes it. And this will be quite nice because the inside, we want to click here. 
get the eye picker and we'll change this to light blue and hopefully this will look quite nice. That's not too bad. I don't like the outline here. So we'll maybe change that to the these light colours just to show you how to do that. Again, if you want to change the colours, we'll go down to the fill tool. We're in the fill context. We need the line context. So we'll draw a line. Maybe do it up and down. And we'll pick our blue. Wasn't it this one I was thinking of doing? In this color, and that's looking not great. <laughs> so, what I'll maybe do is just being a bit picky, really. I might bring the width down to zero, and that completely gives it a different look. Yeah, I think maybe just turn it off for this. And yeah, this this would be good because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and show you another. So hold one finger, duplicate, and then we can drag this. So what we have now is if we go to the fill tool, we've got both with radial types. What we want to do is, well, we can even work on this one. All all different types. And if we click in to this, that's really nice too. Conical, that's, there's something quite different about that. That's really, really nice. So there's not too much we can do with this. We can bring it down. We can bring it up. And it spreads a wee bit more. We'll keep it something like that. Because that looks quite well. Again, there's no line there. So we can't do anything here. And we'll duplicate this also. Go to the move tool. One finger. Copy. Should just hit duplicate there actually. But I'm just copying and pasting this. So we can move this along. And this time we'll go across. We'll not do bitmap at the minute. We might change it to non solid linear. We'll go to elliptical. Because you'll see aspect, we haven't used aspect yet because aspect does nothing. The only time aspect is used is the elliptical tool. So we'll maybe change this to the nice orange colours. So if we click into this very quickly, you'll know how to do this by now. And then click into this one. I pick her. We're going to bring this down. There's not too much of a difference to that. So we'll maybe go into this and we'll just, just for the sake of this, I'll manually adjust it just so it's a wee bit bigger. Okay, and that'll stop to the middle and we can change it. And it really, all it looks at the minute is it looks like this is the same as the radial tool. It's doing the exact same job. And that's because aspect is clicked on. As soon as we click off this, that now means these two points are independent of each other and we can narrow this in like this, stretch this out like this, or bring it back in like this. So again, that's really handy. And there we have it. I'll maybe just hide this layer. I'll maybe just hide this one too. And I'll click on this and bring this just above here, click on the move tool, Maybe bring it there, and I'll hide, now we're done with these here we gradients, we'll just hide them, don't need to delete them, see how that looks, and by clicking this wee button up here, it'll just remove all toolbars, and uh, it looks a wee bit, a wee bit mad, we're not really going for any design thing here. It's just to show you how to use these different tools and to uh, show you something else. We'll maybe just write the word dance. Again, I did a video on text 
a few videos ago so please refer to that if I'm just going a wee bit too quick here but uh, let me remove that and I don't know if this girl's dancing or not it's just really just to try to finish this wee design and what we'll maybe do we'll maybe bring this below her so the hair will be picked poking up through and we'll maybe bring the blue back I might hide this this here one because what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the fill tool and what we're going to actually do is do a gradient and text so we'll click into this again like you've seen lots of times we'll go to the eye picker we'll go here click go to this one we'll click the darker bit of the blue click We'll go and we'll just hide that wee layer and let's see what we'll do here. Hold one finger down, bring it from point to point so it stretches the whole way across. That doesn't look too awful <laughs> compared to what we had at the end of the last video. We'll just click this wee rectangle down. Again, move tool to come down. No real need for this playing about. It's just a tutorial, Andrew. But I just want to get something that I'm kind of happy with. And that, that is design, isn't it? It's just trying to get something you're happy with. That's snapping to the middle. It's just something about these lines. I'm not sure about. I could be here all day. How's that look? No, maybe like it. Just up there. And I'll maybe see if I'm going to put a wee stroke on this dance. Again, just by going into the stroke, by going into the pen tool, and we'll click into maybe 20 for this. And I don't know what colour we'll have that. I think that's still actually the, the gradient we're looking at there. It's not too bad. We'll maybe just for our stroke colour we'll click down here this will change the stroke we'll maybe change it to this purple down here to see how that looks and that kind of looks okay I could play about with it so much more and I'm very tempted to but that's enough Andrew you've done enough for today that, that'll do us it looks a lot better than what we started with and we've learned an awful lot about the fill tool and I think that will do us for this project. So there you have it. Please like this video if you found it useful or valuable and please subscribe as I'll be bringing you more videos like this each and every week. Please leave me a comment below as I read and reply to every single one of them. If you like this video, you might also like this video appearing on the screen. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.